Welcome to the Faster, Easier, Better show. This podcast is short, fun, and jam-packed with good ideas that you can start using right away. Welcome to the 300th episode of the Faster, Easier, Better show. I am your co-host, Ellen, along with my co-host. Woo, yeah, we did it. Ha! Oh, yeah! Lee. <laughs> Lee. All right. Well, we made it 300 episodes, and if you're one of the listeners that listened to all of the episodes, wow, we so appreciate you. We wanted to take this chance on this episode to talk about how we do our episodes because we know that there's people out there going, you know what? These people have a podcast. I could do a podcast. I just don't know how to get started. So we thought we'd just share a little behind the scenes of what we do and how we make it happen. And it's Lee? it's it's both easier and maybe a, it's not harder. It's just once you know how to do certain a couple things, it's it's easy. But it, it, the, there is a learning curve in the beginning. But it, but really, it starts with you. You you have such a s- passion about something, or you feel so strongly about something that you could see it carrying out for three hundred episodes. That that's really that's more important than the technological part of it. Is you've got something that others are interested in listening that you just feel you've got to get out there because, and so you're gonna want to get up early or stay up late or whenever you record, but you've got to have the passion and the topic that you can see that you could talk about for three, four years. That's, <laughs> that's the start or maybe a year or a series. Yeah, maybe I'm overstating. Or, Everyone or, doesn't or want to do 300 or six episodes. Years. Or six, six, six years. years. Has it been six years? <laughs> yeah. So that's the it's first close. thing is, is that, <laughs> and that's how we started. We got together. We said, kind of like John F. Kennedy said, we're going to the moon. I don't know how we're going to get there, we but decided. we're going. And we decided we're doing a podcast. We knew nothing about the technical side of how to do it. And then no. we just we delegated. That's why it's nice to have a partner. And you said, I'll take it on. So I'll turn the mic over to you. But you said, you know, Lee, you'll never figure this out. So I'll do it. And I'm like, Mr. Right? Delegator, I'm like, great, you do it. So you took over that part of it. Right. And well, and we also started... Uh, in the before times, we had you found us a producer, an editor, and we actually went into a studio and recorded face to face. And then he, our our fantastic producer <laughs> Wayne, um, you know, would take it, take the the tapes and and make the magic happen. And there it was. Uh, then during COVID, we began recording out of our homes, which is what we still do now. Uh, but we found the technology. We found a way to make it easy. Wayne, thank you, thank you for making it easy for us. But if you can find someone that can do the stuff you don't want to do, that's where it becomes magic. Because we get to show up, talk about what we believe in, and then someone else makes all of the stuff, the technology, work. And so to be able to do it remotely, so then you would need to buy your own microphone, and it's not just a chintzy. I would spend. No, no I'm not seeing a lot of money. You get a great microphone for under a hundred dollars, but it's the kind that is uh, that that you would see when you watch somebody doing a radio show. It's a it's a larger size suspended. mic. It's meant for, yeah, suspended meant for 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 what for podcasting or vocal any kind of vocal thing. Um, and then you would need something to record. So we use GarageBand. We're both Mac people, but there's there's, there's other, Audacity. Yeah, yeah. there's a bunch of different use. programs. I, w- I was just going to go back. Yeah, because I was just going to go back on the microphone. I use like an Ars Technica, twelve hundred, and it's I got it off of Amazon. It's not super expensive, but they're great microphones. And, you know, for my musical things, I have a specific microphone for my bass drum. I have another microphone that's good for the snare and one for vocals. They're, they're different mics for different purposes. So you would get one specific for this. And then pretty much any laptop or uh, desktop computer with just a little bit of software. But then once you've recorded that, then you, you go another step. And I'll, I'll let uh, Ellen talk about how you get it. Posted on links in or whatever it's called. See, I don't even know what it's oh, called. Oh, yeah. The next step. Yeah. One, after you're done recording. Yeah. Once, after you record and you get it mixed, you know, so our producer mixes our, our audio 
levels, our audio, uh, what would we even call them? Files. And uh, makes our final product. Then I take it and I go to Libsyn, which is L-I-B-S-Y-N. Um, they are not the only game in town. They, I, they are the one that I just find the easiest. And I upload uh, the file. I put up the, the notes and that's basically it. Then I schedule it and away it goes. It's, it couldn't really be easier and it's cheap <laughs> to do. Um, and they make sure, you know, through that, you can link it to Spotify. You can put it on Apple. You can put it anywhere podcasts are, are displayed or put out there. And it, it, all by just doing one, doing it one time. And I know that that is like the most easy overview. Okay, get yourself an idea, get yourself a microphone, put on gar- garage garage band, give your files to someone who knows what they're doing, and then put them on Libsyn. <laughs> well, I, I mean, that kind of is <laughs> what it is. It kind of is. So, I mean, we can try to make it sound harder, but why would we? I, I would love for more voices to get out there and... And kind of what you said in the very beginning, if these two yo-yos can get a show on the air, <laughs> anyone can. Let's be honest. So uh, that's how I look at it. That's I think kind you of know, if we inspire true. one other show from one listener who said, you know what, I I got a show. I want to do a show. And they go out and do it. And uh, they, they maybe go in thinking, wow, this is so easy. Maybe there are some little tough parts, little tricky parts that catch you up in, in there. But it is... It is, you know, we, we had we have intro music that I actually created the the right. music that goes at the beginning and end. It was music that I'd written and recorded. Um, so maybe you don't have that or a few other things, but you can overcome whatever is in your way between you and your podcast. Because once again, if these two yo yos can do it, anyone can. <laughs> For three hundred episodes, these yo yos have done it. <laughs> and you're the best yo yo I know, Ellen. I love working so with you, you. Uh, my yo yo. <laughs> Thank you to everyone who has been a listener with us over the last six years. We very much appreciate you, and we look forward to having you back again for another episode next week.